it was 3 pm in the afternoon the auditorium was completely packed it was the youth festival happening in mes english medium school patambi and the announcement happened next item on stage katha prasangam govind patmasurya fifth standard and my heart started pounding ladies and gentlemen boys and girls govind patmasurya my heart is still pounding for those of you who doesn't know what is katha prasangam katha prasangam is a uh, storytelling way or it's a it's a narrative through music through dialogues it's more like a mono act so my father taught me this katha prasangam uh, he composed certain music to it uh, and i performed it in many stages like three four stages and i got raving reviews about it so he thought why not i perform it in my school so he went to my principal asked for a special slot in youth festival because we didn't have kadha prasangam as an item in youth festival so he did a special request in their tight schedule they gave me a space and it happened i don't know why maybe because it's my classmates it's my schoolmates and i know their ability their potential to troll i started feeling very ner nervous i have actually performed this kadha prasangam before but this time i felt feeling very 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 nervous so i started choking i felt like my energy is draining i told my teachers i cannot do this principal came and he said how can he say that because his father came specially requested for the slot how can he not perform and my teachers asked you have been on stage a lot of time every year you are there on stage singing or recitation or something and why can't you do this I said i cannot and i said i forgot i did not forget but i was scared so i came back home i did not perform and i realized that it's not only choking and energy drain now i felt like i'm dying because my father is coming home and i have to tell him that i have not performed so i didn't know what to say i still remember the visual of him entering the house he came home with lots of gifts he had a globe in his hand he had some books he was very excited he came home and the first thing he asked me was how did it go what did everyone tell you and i said i did not perform i said i was scared he was shocked i even saw a tinge of anger in his expression and all these expressions suddenly changed he looked away and then i saw an emotion i saw sadness and disappointment in a very subtle manner he looked away and he said cha that subtle soft cha was the loudest noise i have ever heard in my life it kept resonating in my head then on whenever i felt uncomfortable i tried tackling it all my life years passed later in 2015 and 2016 twice i got the kerala state award for the best post in the state during the ceremony i was there receiving the award and i saw my parents sitting in the audience i took my award i went to my father and i showed him the memento he took it he looked at it and very spontaneously he said aha that aha is the most beautiful sound i have ever heard in my life my journey from che to aha was never easy 
But it was very, very beautiful. It was a journey of discovery that we discovered. We all face this kind of a situation in our life, not only on stage. It may come when we have a crucial decision in our life. It may come when you decide to switch your profession. It may come when you shift your home. It may come when you are in an interview. But the situation is same. That makes you very uncomfortable. You want to do it, but you are not able to do it. And I don't think so. There is a one-stop solution to this. There is no magic wand. I have not found any. All the motivational speeches, all the self-help books, I think they are like these glucose sachets they give you during sports day. I used to think, think, think that in my sports day when they, when they used to give me this glucose sachets, I used to think that, you know, this is the ultimate solution for stamina. And after 30 minutes, I realized, no, this is not. I have to consistently work towards stamina. So same way, this fear, you have to consistently tackle it. There is no one method. What I do is, I become aware of it. I acknowledge it. I have realized that whenever I do not acknowledge or whenever I do not give attention to my fear, like a child, it will come and poke me in between a performance. It seeks attention. So what I do is, I acknowledge it, I embrace it. I say, oh, hello, fear, you are there, I was missing you, so let's do it together. That's what I do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. You never know. You keep doing it. But the most important thing is that once you know to tackle this uncomfortable situation, you go into a comfort zone. That's even more dangerous. You have to make sure that once in a while, this uncomfortable zone comes in your life. I have always seen magic happening when I tackle my uncomfortable zone. I was fortunate to get a super hit show as my launch pad as a television host. First two seasons were super hit. The best thing I could do was carry on with the season three. I did not do it. I went and took another responsibility. I took a quiz show which is very different. Then I went to a stunt reality show. I hosted a couple of award nights. I went across the globe hosting different kinds of shows. And then when I felt that things are getting very easy, I stopped. I stayed away from television. One day I got a call saying that there is a couple reality show. I said, no, I'm not interested. They said, no, you're not hosting it. We want you as a judge. I said, what? They said, yes, it's a couple reality show with a bachelor judge. I said, yeah, huh? that's interesting. So I went and took it up. And fortunately, that became, we had a beautiful team. It became one of the rated shows of the channel. Fortunately, I was this man with the Midas touch in terms of television. Whichever shows I did, it was above average or super hits. So my strategy worked. So I used the same strategy in my film career. And it didn't work. That was the first lesson. I realized that because it works somewhere, it doesn't work the other place. See, in television, what happened was I was fortunate to get super hit shows because of which I had a bouquet of options. I could choose, I could experiment, I could do all the show offs. But in films, even though I started off with a meritorious film, I got five Kerala State Awards for our first film, I didn't have a super hit because of which I didn't have a bouquet to choose from. Yet I tried to experiment, I waited for that blockbuster script, which I feel was a wrong move. I should have, unlike television, went and knocked doors for opportunities. Because TV, I was on a, I was like, you know, this is coming, I'm saying, no, I'm not coming. So that, I had that privilege. But in films, offers were not coming. I should have gone and knocked for opportunities. That didn't happen. When Tamil film came, he, I was equally excited and intimidated. Because, excitement because it's a fabulous role. Intimidation because, it was a role of a psycho thriller, very intense role, very different from my personality. And I was very sure that I didn't have the training, the expertise, the experience, or the resources to pull off a role like that at that point of time. Made me very uncomfortable. So I did what I generally do when I'm uncomfortable. I go embrace it. I signed the film. And I was in extreme pressure. 
I for the first time as an actor, I put in a lot of effort. I started watching videos. I started attending workshops. All you know personally, whatever I could do, I started doing it. And I got raving reviews about my performance. Many said that once this movie is released, you will be bombarded with offers. Movie released, nothing happened. I got good reviews, but the movie didn't work. It was not a success. Again, I learned another lesson. You win only when your team wins. There is no one man show. But there is always a perk for your hard work. Suddenly, one day, after a year or so, I got a call. It said, Director Trivikram Garu liked your performance in the Tamil movie, He, and he would like to invite you for his next Telugu film starring Allu Arvind. Ala Vaikunta Puravan. That changed my life. <clears throat> it became the biggest success in my life. After that, Nagarjuna Garu signed me for his next project. Actor Nani Garu signed me for his production venture as a hero of the next Telugu film. Things are going good, but I know inertia would creep in soon. I always felt that I am Newton's first law of motion, the law of inertia. You know it, I guess. A body is in state of rest or uniform motion until and unless an external force acts on it. I go search for that external force. I am that person who likes, if, if I like a restaurant, I go to that same place, sit in the same table, order the same food, 365 days if I like it. I have so much of inertia in my personal life, I make sure that that doesn't creep in my professional life. But we all learned what is inertia in 2020 when the lockdown happened. That time we didn't have anything else to do but sit at home. When I got the biggest break in my life, I, ha I was supposed to take a break and sit at home. That's when I started exploring social media. There also, I did not make myself comfortable. I kind of brushed up my old hobbies. I started singing. I started traveling. I started creating content. And at one point of time, I realized that bringing out three videos in a week is difficult. So I embraced that uncomfortableness. And, and, and I announced that from tomorrow onwards, I am going to upload videos daily. I even started observing the random cats that visited my house to my mom's garden, which I had never noticed. I started making content on everything. I got trending videos. I got videos that flopped. I got videos that hit 1 million views. But for the next 100 days, I made sure that every day the video was uploaded without fail. So that took me to this space of Jack of many trades. We always wonder if that is right because there is always an ongoing debate between generalization and specialization. I feel what works for you, use it. Knowingly or unknowingly, I was in this space where <coughs> I became this actor who is known in multiple industries, a television presenter, and a person who is a social media influencer, having an Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel with considerable followers and subscribers. And I became brand's favorite. In last two years, I associated with 20 brands, out of which 12 were national brands. But having said that, it's very, very, very important. When you embrace your uncomfortable zone, don't do it if you don't like it. Do it only when you feel that you want to do it, but something is stopping you, either your fear, Inertia, laziness, or something like that. I have personally rejected a lot of offers just because it doesn't match my taste. There is this prominent, very successful reality show which is after my life. Every time that reality show pops up, my name comes in. And it doesn't match my taste. And I'm very clear that I am not a part of that show. It's not, you know, that show makes me uncomfortable, but I don't go embrace it because I don't want it. There is this brand who is behind me with a tempting paycheck, but I don't want to endorse it because it doesn't, you know, I cannot relate to that brand. So do it 
only and only when you like it and make sure that you take that risk having something else in hand don't leave one thing and jump jump into something adventure is life adventure in life is great i love skydiving i love skydiving but don't do it without a parachute so these moments keeps coming and it is these uncomfortable moments that makes you think discover and rediscover when i got a call for this talk it took me some time to say yes not only because promotions of my new film is going on shooting is going on not only because of that made me very uncomfortable because today my new film is releasing next week so promotions are going in hyderabad one of the brand i associate with their sales have gone up and they are having a celebration today in cochin so i can be anywhere it's very easy just dress up and go whether it's promotions or the success party but ted talk is not like that it made me very uncomfortable my publicist need to kept calling me said let's do it your thing you should go and do it there and it made me so uncomfortable i did not say yes later a strange noise kept disturbing me it went like cha 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 i was alarmed i became a, i became very very aware so i went back embraced this invitation with all the love and i said aha thank you so much